All right, so what we're doing is we're continuing to push this back this way and this way to try to get more volume instead of going that way, which seems to make a lot more sense. We've got more dirt to deal with here. And we actually have right about there, there's about a 10 foot diameter hole that goes two feet down. It's full of rock dust right now. The problem is to be able to use that, we've got to have enough distance to slope it and get down to that depth. Right now, if we just uncover that hole, we got a straight wall like this. So he's trying to get enough push so we can take as much of that depth as we want or as we can get out of it. We can get another two, two and a half feet there, which will put us down about six and a half feet in the center. That would be ideal um, for flow and, and, and temperature change and, and what have you, but it's gonna take moving that back quite a bit more. So we're seeing how that does, because basically I'm done paying for rock to be smashed at this point, and we're just dealing with the kind of top layer and seeing how far we can go with pushing and a little bit of digging. Because uh, it took him two hours to deal with this little piece right here, just because of the hardness of the rock. Speaking of the rock, I told you that one was little. You might not realize how big that rock is. That rock, man, I'll bet you that rock is, is several tons. There's another one right there. You can see, I know people think I'm whining every once in a while about how hard these conditions are here, but I'm really not. I mean, this is tough stuff, and hopefully we can arrange these guys at the end of this project to make them look kind of cool. I definitely don't want them piled up here because right there is where I'm going to have to get my truck through this place. Anyway, we'll keep at it. I'll check back with you.